Hello, today we are finally playing it. We are about to play uh, Zelda A Parallel Worlds. Okay, nice little touch uh, right off the bat. Uh, made by Euclid, uh, Euclid and Seth. All right, let's go. Uh, I did make it uh, like this far in the game to this uh, screen with the, it looks like a fat guy trying to do jumping jacks, like a fat headless guy. Oh my gosh, yeah, I see it finally because like I was having trouble like getting the game to work. Like I got like I'm I got the patch to work, but then like I went to fire it up and I was all Oh man, our sprite's different. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh the parallel tower. Uh Dragor the Tyrant King. Our adventures. The plan is to sneak into the guardhouse tonight. Who am I am I getting a message in my sleep? Rescue someone from the guardhouse prison, foiled Gregor's plans. There's so much going on, it's impossible to fall asleep. It is time, is it time to go yet? Thomas, this is it. This is our chance to infiltrate the guardhouse. I've marked its position on your map. Press, uh, press X to view map when you're outside. I'll meet up with you there. Okay. Huh. His, uh, his shield looks like the uh, wooden shield from uh, Ocarina of Time. Right. Uh, welcome to the hack, version 1.23. Is that the uh, the like the finished last final version? I wonder. Oh, at first for a second I thought that was like a little dinky sword, but that's like a punch or a fist or something. That's probably what it looks like when you swing without us without having a sword. Okay, so we're starting off in the rain, just like um, just like um, link to the past. What do we got? What does the map look like? Hum. Oh man, so I gotta get all the way up there. Okay, uh, by the way, this game is 100% blind. Uh, I did watch the, uh, when I finally got it to work, I did watch the, uh, like, the story. I was just curious if the, if the, uh, story sequence at the beginning when you, like, don't press any buttons. Oh, this is probably the dude that'll give me the sword, maybe, right? Nope. Well, I don't know, I thought maybe it'd be like the original Zelda. The cave, like, right next to where you start, just to give you the sword so you get started, you know? But uh, I did, uh, I did like look at that. Well, I was just like, is it gonna be the same or different? And at first, it looked like it was the same, then it was different. I was like, well, I guess I'm watching this. Oh, so I need. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna need the sword, but I forgot you can pick up the things. It's kind of nice that it tells you like where you're at. Like, can you turn that on or off? Because I'm pretty sure once I like once I learn my way around, I'm not gonna need to, like, I'm not gonna need to have it constantly in the corner. I kind of wish it was like more in the corner, you know, like further down into the right. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing I can't swim, right? Okay. So am I gaining? I'm like gaining magic. Is that magic or is that some sort of like, like when it fills up, I can do like a special attack or something? I'm not entirely sure. Why would it be filling up? I didn't do anything. Okay, so our walk speed, it like, it feels kind of slow, but that's just cause, like you just, it's slow until you get the Pegasus boots, I don't know. I'm just used to like dashing around, you know? Okay, so I'm guessing that gentleman is not friendly. But I did watch the, uh, the, the beginning uh, story sequence or whatever. It's dangerous to walk around by yourself at night, kid, go back home. Another boring rainy night. Care to chat for a bit? Oh, that guy. Okay, so they're not super, um, like they're actually, um, personable. Okay, what does the sign say? Oh my gosh. Oh man, I yeah, I've never played a uh, Zelda ROM hack. Uh, this is this is my first, my very first Zelda ROM hack too. So, so like I have to like unlearn, like the original map. Okay, so we gotta get, like, more up into the right? I don't even know, like, how to... Like, I don't even have, like, a straight shot to, like, where I'm going. I Like, I'm already gonna have to, like, explore just to get to the first destination. Which I guess is fine, but... It just, it's just, like, a little bit... Oh, it is magic. It's just a little bit, like, different to not be, like, given, like, a sword, like, right off the bat, you know? And to have your destination... I don't know, I feel like, uh... 
like the first, like the original was more like handholdy, like right from the beginning. Like you were like funneled in one direction. Okay, so got the first uh, piece of heart. It's like a freebie though. So, I mean that, uh, what are those things called? The things you could light with a lamp? But that one looks like suspicious. Just like a singular one, just chilling. Uh, okay, so I gotta. Uh, yeah, maybe I can go through this cave. Maybe I'll come. Maybe I'll come out the other side. Oh, this guy probably won't let me through either. As a treasure hunter, you should, you probably have lots of stories about your quest. Care to share some with us? I didn't think I was an adventurer, because if I were, I would already have like a sword, you know, right? We all follow orders from our king, Dragor, but he's been acting strange lately. ruh -roh. Our king captured this girl, Zelda's her name, I think. Uh, he locked her in the dungeon, claiming she knows something about the tower. Uh, he's done this to six other girls so far. Ooh, he's got quite the harem. Uh, okay, so what are these? Are these like the heavier versions of these small ones, maybe? I don't know. Have you been in the tower? It's totally empty, but the king still thinks there's power hidden somewhere inside. Okay, uh, I mean... Like, part of me wants to talk to him, but like, I'm like I'm trying to like get to where I'm going, you know? It's like why it sucks when like people like walk like slow. Like, why would you ever walk slow unless you're like super tired? It's like, don't you want to get to where you're going? Oh, that shallow water. God dang it. Yeah, I did see that earlier. Oh, I don't have a lamp. Am I in pitch blackness? Okay, luckily I, I did wiggle around a little bit, but I pressed down and I made it out. Uh, why, why can't I go through there? I should be able to fit through there, right? Go around this way? Can't fit through there either. What the hell? Oh my gosh, I'm already stuck. I mean, if I... Do I just have to, like, go around, like, a long way or something? I don't know. I guess I just gotta go around. Yeah, like I said, I like I don't know if this is the right way. The guardhouse, you get to it if you head north from the village. I've heard there's another route via the caves, but it's far too dangerous. Now off you go before I'm caught slacking off. Well, you're just like standing still. How can you be slacking off? Like as long as you're standing there. It's dangerous uh, to walk around by yourself at night, kid. Go back home. Okay, so north of the village, it's like I tried doing that. It didn't work though. I kind of wish I would get like C blocked. That way I would know that this is like the wrong way. You just hit up the church, all right. I don't have the lamp though, so I won't be able to like set it on fire. I won't be able to check that off my bucket list. Hey, a full heart, sweet. Hmm. Are we gonna get whatever used to be in that treasure? What happened to the lid? Welcome to the, uh, to the church. Oh, we have teleporter uh, jams. It's like the exit of a teleport uh, teleporter. Is that a key symbol above the rupees? What the hell kind of jank ass looking key is that? But uh, yeah, so I did see the uh, story, the part where, oh, you can't climb down, you just jump. All right, fine. Uh, the part where like it showed the castle and it said, uh, it showed the skeleton king dude. And it was like, it said the king's assistant uh, Dre, whatever, Dre, Dregor, Draenor, and then that's when I clicked away. It said it killed the king, and then that was all I saw, so. In terms of what to do, I don't know, like, anything about, like, what to do or where to go, if you haven't noticed already. <laughs> maybe this is the cave it meant. If there was two caves, maybe this is the cave that it meant to go through. And when it said far too dangerous, it just means that I have to, like, brave boy it. Oh my gosh. 
Because I bet that I, I bet there was um, I bet there was probably at least one other let's player. Actually, are there any let's plays of this? There has to be at least a couple, right? But there's probably at least one that went into that water cave, saw it was pitch black, and then the when the guard was talking about a way through the cave, but it's dangerous, probably thought that it was that way, or that thought that it was that cave. But uh, yeah, I like I said, it's 100% blind. Uh, I did see a little bit of gameplay footage of it. Oh, your face turns red for a second. That's funny. Uh, I watched, I think it was like a SNES drunk video. Or it was some kind of like, hey, the lamp. Nice. It was some sort of uh, like top five, like Super Nintendo ROM hacks or top five Zelda ROM hacks or something like that. And it said that this one was like a good one. Oh, I'm on the other side of this now. Oh, uh, like, okay. Okay, geez. Okay, so now that I got the lamp, now I can go through the, um... I can go through the, uh, the place where there was water, right? The water cave. So I technically did see, like, a little bit of... Wait, can I pick this up? No? Okay. I did see, like, a little bit of gameplay footage while they were doing the review. But, but if you... If you saw gameplay footage, it's not 100% blind then. Okay, yeah, shut the hell up. I bet you're a blast at parties. But in terms of, like, what to do or where to go, I clearly don't know where to go, don't know what to do, yada yada. You know, that makes it pretty much blind in my book. Jeez. Okay, so where was that stupid, uh, cave? I'm gonna have to make this, like, an extra long episode just so we can actually, like, start. Just so that, like, there's actually, like, some, some, like, speck of progress, uh, made. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was up here. It was to the left, right? Did I go in these houses? I don't think I did. Uh, store? No, don't need anything yet. Okay, is that is that just a copy of um of that one place in uh Dude, I don't know. There's so many Zelda games. I always get my Zelda games like like the names like like I always have to like think like extra hard. Uh link to the past. Okay, is there a catch? Just free months? Oh, you actually can't light it. Oh, I probably have to... Is this, like, a medallion thing? Like, I have to get the corresponding medallion and use it right here? Will that do something? It'll probably turn them all into, like, higher denomination rupees, but only if you didn't collect them when they were the blue ones, right? Or something? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we're still just, like, rocking, like, no sword. Dude's like, here, come meet me for this battle. Like, can I get a sword to, like, help me out? To, like, help me get there, like, better? Uh, okay, well, we ain't going that way. But, uh, yeah, like, like I said, I had a hard time getting the freaking uh, game to, like, work. I, I had gotten it to, uh, I had fired it up before just to make sure that, like, the controls work and to make sure that I, to make sure that the game actually worked because I never, I never applied and, like a, what do you call it, LP, is it, I don't even know, is it LPS or IPS patch? I never applied a patch, and I tried it a long time ago, and I couldn't do it. Oh, wait, this one works to light this up. Oh. I tried it a long time ago, and I couldn't get it to work, but I wanted, I really wanted to play this, and really wanted to, like, you know, do some uh, ROM hacks. So I was like, I'm gonna have to figure this out, so I eventually figured it out. I got it to work, and I went to fire it up today to play it. I click on it, it's just like black screen. It just like didn't work. I was like, what the heck? I was like, am I clicking on the wrong on the wrong thing? And then I like I clicked like I started like trying to open, you know, like when you fire up the the emulator or whatever, you, you click on the the file you want to open. I was like clicking on like all the different files that said parallel worlds and like none of them worked. I was like, what the heck? I was like, I know. I was like, I freaking know that I uh that I fired it up. I made it to the uh the um what do you call it? The screen with the with the uh, jumping jack, fat headless dude. What's that called? The file screen. Jeez. 
I was like, so I know the game works. Like, I know it's like somewhere. I couldn't freaking find it. And then it's, as it turns out, uh, I eventually got the idea. I was like, what about, I was like, I know I played it. So I went to um, recent games. And then, uh, and then it, there was a, there was a, under recent games or whatever, there was a thing that said, Zelda Link to the Past. And it said dot F or SFC instead of, uh, well, I don't even have a freaking shield. What am I, like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so I'm back here. I at least have the lamp. Okay, let's try this again. Jeez. Uh, did I go into this left one? Or did I turn around because the dude was blocking the door? I don't remember. Uh, I did. Oh yeah, I went down here. This is the only way I could go, I think, right? And then once I was here... Oh, this is the same path too. I'm still on, uh, I'm still on a fixed path. Once I, uh, once I explore around a bit, I'm guessing that, um, this place is probably not as confusing. Oh, wait, did I go outside last time? I think I, yeah, oh yeah, I did, jeez. Where was it that the, uh, path started branching? It was right, like, right here. I don't remember which way I went last time, but let's go this way. Oh, Okay. Oh my gosh, that's the freaking fireball that got me last time. Yeah, I was just about to say, I'm pretty sure that, like, once I, like, check around a bit, I'll, I'll realize that this place isn't as complex as I was making it. I don't know, there's there's just a lot of branching paths, so that just makes it seem like it's, like, a, like a confusing uh, place or whatever. Okay, by the way, not a fan of this room. Can I get down there? I can. Okay, I okay, okay. I, I dig it. They're giving you like a challenge right off the bat. Letting you know like even like the start of the game. Oh jeez. Oh wait, do you, okay, so I have to there's only one way to get out of here, right? I like how the game is like setting it up right away to be like this is gonna be totally different from the original game. God dang it by the way. Oh, that sucks. That was like a stupid way to like go in the hole. All right, we out. Uh, castle guardhouse. Oh, this is where I need to go. All right, sweet. But uh, what the hell was I saying before? It sucks when you go to say something and then you die. And then you gotta like, yeah, I just wanted to get him off screen so he'd stop chasing me. Okay, so I'm guessing once we go in the guardhouse, we'll actually maybe get a sword, perhaps. Alright. Oh my gosh. So I had to fight my way through it? Will the door open if I... Okay, I thought maybe the door would open if I killed both dudes. I was about to say, is that a switch? Uh, do I want to go that way? Man, this is actually kind of weird. It's like freaking like houses. Or like a like a little mini dungeon or whatever. Comprised of... Of like the house palette or whatever. Um... Okay. Oh, uh, the, uh... Ah, oh, jeez, the thing didn't respawn. Oh, okay. And go back. Okay, it's not gonna tell me I need the big key, uh, is it? I need a big key, alright. Maybe this guy will give it to me. Maybe, okay, well, I was about to say, maybe they didn't put it that far since it's just the first one. Okay, I did get a regular key, so maybe I had to go this way first. Maybe the door that I need the key for will unlock the big key. Or will lead to the path or whatever that that has the big key in it. But uh, yeah, it sucks when you like are you when you start saying something and then you die. And then you gotta like try to get it back. What's the point of that spike there? Is that a <laughs> It's like an anti anti soft lock in like Mario Maker. Uh, okay, left it is. I could go up there. Let's check this way, though. 
Yeah, I gotta check all the pots. There might be another key. Like, I don't have all the all the pots that have keys under them memorized. But, uh... Oh, there's a key, too. Alright, nice. Just make sure... The fact that there are blocks in this room... I don't know, they just seem, like, strangely placed around, so I just wanted to check. Okay, so I have to remember to come back this way. And I'm probably gonna forget about that by the time I get the hammer. But, I don't know, maybe we'll get the hammer uh, early on. Uh... Yeah, okay, we can... But, um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, I was talking about the stupid, so I clicked recent games, and then it said Zelda Link to the Past, but it said dot F S F C instead of, instead of, uh, instead of zip or whatever. So I clicked it, and it freaking popped up as the, as the ROM hack. Why did I do that? Oh, I didn't see this door. And it popped up as the ROM hack. It was the ROM hack. It showed up as Link to the Past. But it, just with a different ending or whatever, SFC instead of zip. So I clicked it, and, and yeah, it was this one. So I was like, what the freaking heck? So I don't know why it didn't, uh... Oh, there. So luckily I was able to, like, get it back. So then I had the game opened, but I'm like, where is this file? Because I'd already, I'd already clicked everything that said, that said, uh... Parallel World, so I was like, it must be the file that says Link to the Past, and I actually downloaded, like, several copies of Link to the Past in case, um, in case something happens where, like, all of the, all the, uh, ROMs or whatever get yeeted off the internet. Uh, yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but all the, um, the games that are on, uh, Emu Paradise, they're still there. The, uh, like, even the games that you can't, even the Nintendo games, like, a lot of people know about the workaround script. But, uh, they're like, well, but the games made by Nintendo are actually gone. Uh, no, they're not. They're still there. But the way to find them, you have to go to the, uh, like, you have to, like, click on, like, a similar game. And then it'll be, like, recommended games or some sort of, like, thing where it, like, recommends similar games based on the game you selected. And then the other games will pop up in that list. And then I had to, uh, and then, so whatever game you want, you have to, like, you have to, you know, it, it might be, like, several points of separation, but you can eventually uh, get to, uh, like, sometimes you have to, like, like, do that several times to eventually find the game you want. But I went ahead and did it anyway, so I had several copies. Oh, uh, dude, maybe you should have gone with me. Maybe you shouldn't have left without me. Why did he leave without me? Freaking idiot. Oh yeah, you had to be a freaking idiot, and that's what happens. Unlike in America, where you just get like unlimited social safety nets. Uh, yeah, I guess I won't get into it. <laughs> I could, but I won't. I want to, but I don't know. Like as much as like like there's all kinds of stuff I like want to talk about. I feel like I like I watch so much like news and stuff that I just like kind of don't feel like talking about it all the time, you know. Just because I'm, like, already, like, inundated with it. Okay, I'm assuming I'm too chonky to shimmy in between there. Well, I could see that from before having to, or, like, without having to go down there. So why did I go down there just to get hit, freaking moron? Do I have slightly less than half a heart? That sort of looks like a quarter heart or a half or like a third of a heart. It looks somewhere. It looks less than half, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah. So all the games are there. So I went ahead and and had se so I had several copies of Link to the Past, but I had to like, but it just says Link to the Past. I had to like 
do the thing where you like hover the mouse over it and like wait and then the full title pops up and then and then the one file or whatever that was parallel world said it at the very end oh my gosh where the hell am i going did i already go this way i don't have a map either i don't think Wait, why are, why are the bombs colored that way <laughs> Okay, so I just looped around to get here. So this is where... Okay. Yeah, um... Like, navigating is not my, like, strongest... Uh, suit or whatever. Okay, so go right. I can't. Well, I need that big key for, like, for, like, all these freaking doors. Uh, can I has heart? Okay, so down is where we have to go. Okay, I have no way. Oh, jeez, I didn't see the door. The freaking like letters were like, were like uh, making it like hard to see. Okay, so hopefully whatever I need to do is like this way. Oh my gosh, it's gonna make me dodge the the tiles, and I can't sit in the corner and just mash the sword button. I could probably only get hit like once. I feel like it's almost safer to just pace back and forth than to like try to go in circles around the room. Oh my gosh, that was close. I do kind of like it. I've played a couple of uh, Super Metroid ROM hacks. I do sort of like it when they let you be like underpowered for longer than in the original game, which this game is clearly doing. I do like it when uh, when games do that. Okay, uh, hopefully big key is up here. Luckily, I have the key. Boy, can you imagine if you got all the way here and you didn't have the regular key? Oh my gosh. I'm surprised it didn't just count as a hit. Oh, and there it is. Nice. So I'm guessing that getting back is now going to be easier. I have the power! Okay, so... Was there a big key place down here? I freaking don't remember. Oh, I do have a couple of bombs, I just noticed. Where did I get those from? I don't remember getting those. Okay, I'm pretty sure that just loops back around. Oh, geez. The guys stay there. Uh, okay, well. Okay. It might be faster to just die just to start me back in the beginning. Oh my god, no! Should I just eat a death? Let's just eat a death. Oh, I was gonna loop around to avoid getting hit, but I freaking just got hit anyway. Okay, hopefully I still have the big key. Okay, I do, nice. I did sort of, like, end up accidentally field testing it when I realized that I still have the lamp. Like, it saved me having the lamp, so I was pretty sure that I could safely take the death and still uh, get to keep the big key. Oh wait, I gotta go uh, to the big chest. We gotta go back the other way. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, the big chest and then we'll go through that door. Okay, what do we got? I has the big key. If I had the big key, you can open it. But I have the big key. It's right there, dude. Why wouldn't it let me open it? Uh, by the way, I used up my four bombs, so I can't even open this thing. I In that very first room, I was trying to open the door on the right, but I missed the dudes with the pots. So I was like, I had to resort to using bombs to kill them, and then I used all four of the bombs, and I, like, missed, because he kept, like, he kept, like, perfectly walking away whenever I put a bomb down, and then I finally realized that that the door doesn't open when you kill the guys. You have to, you gotta step on the switch. So I was like, oh my god. Okay, well, we ain't going that way. So yeah, I, why won't that open? Oh, let me guess. There's a, there's, there's a, there's a glitch where if you get the big key and then you die before you open it, the big key, like, doesn't work, right? Yo, that opened at least. 
Uh, oh, I can't push it. I can't push it from the left. Gosh, dude. Uh, okay, I can't do anything in this room. Oh, I can't go. I thought I could shimmy up the side, the, like the left side of the table. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do in that room anyway. What the flippity flip? Well, I can go back. Oh, do, like, I was about to say, I could go back to go out and buy some bombs. Man, I don't want to freaking do that. Is there any other, like, way I could go? I don't know. Let's check down here. Okay, let's go to town. Uh, okay, or not. Why would the sign say to town? As if there's only, like, one. I mean, I know there probably only is one, but... I can't go this way. All right. Yeah, I'll tell you the story about my freaking dumbass uncle, or dad, or whatever, who decided to leave without me, didn't give me a sword, and got himself captured like a dumbass. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Help me, game. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess... I guess we're at an episode. I freaking hate stopping when I'm, like, stuck or whatever, but I guess I'll just figure it out off camera. We'll be back when I find it. Uh, well, okay, so I guess that's gonna do it for this first episode. Yeah, I know we didn't make damn diddly dicks for progress, but that's the way it goes with these blind Let's Plays, man. Um, I kind of wish that I wouldn't be, like, 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 this stuck, like, this soon. I don't know, I feel like the big key not opening the chest, it's kind of BS. Like, why would it not open it? Like, why? Is it a glitch? Like, you always have to ask yourself, is it a glitch whenever it's, you're dealing with, like, a ROM hack situation? But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you like the blind Let's Play experience, then, you, then you're getting it. You're going to get it with this one. So, anyway, that is going to do it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you are not already subscribed. I would super appreciate it. And I will see you folks in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.